Hello everyone. Hope you are having a wonderful day and welcome to Parents Making an Investment. After I dropped my children off to school today, I was sitting in my car. The late bell rang and I heard a parent say to her child this morning, I don't care. You have to go to school. It's either school or jail. And I was a little taken back at that statement. And, but I also wonder also too, which is very thought jerking, how many of us as parents instill fear into our children to get them to obey? Is this really a good approach towards obedience? And also the next thought that came to me is what about the children who won't and will not and they don't internalize it as fear. They internalize these, these statements as um, pretty much challenge. And so therefore it sparks curiosity in them. And so when we plant those seeds, it actually will then sow curiosity and they are the children that you will find that will want to become curious. When we say don't, they will say, well, why not? Or if we say don't go over there or don't climb up, they say, well, let me see what will happen if I do. And so it does spark curiosity when we plant those type of seeds in those type of kids that are called the or else children. And I saw that early on with my son and if I tell him not to, he just did not say why. He wasn't at the age to ask why because he was a toddler, but he would act out on what I told him not to do. And it was more not because of being disobedient, but just curious. He was a curious child in the toddler years. And so you see that a lot of times with children that are curious, that when we make statement like that, it opposes curiosity in them and they want to find out or they want to say, or else what will happen? And they will venture out. And so my question today is, once again, is this really a good approach to obedience? And how many of us do that? Even for the parents where you have children that are probably now in junior high or high school, did you do this when they were younger or graduating high school? Did you do this when they're younger? And I would like to know, how did it work for you? Did it actually work out where it helped them to become, to be obedient to what you told them to do? Did you get good results from put instilling fear into your children? Comment below. I would like to hear from parents on all different levels today and comment and to also share this video with others so they can comment as well. Because I would love to hear what we deem as um, an approach towards obedience. And sometimes we do see this as an approach towards obedience by making these statements. But is it really? Are we planting seeds that will germinate into obedience or that will also germinate into stereotypes? Because in a child that is curious and their mind, and any child rather, let me correct that, will, will start wondering, well, everyone that's in jail, are they not educated? Do they don't know? Are they not smart? Everyone is in jail. And did everyone go to jail because they didn't go to school? For younger kids, just that statement might resonate with them that way, that people that are in jail is people that did not go to school and because they didn't want to go to school then they had to end up going to jail and so we don't want to have children become stereotypical of the type of people that are in jail from that statement and then also we don't want them to become curious from based on that statement as well so I encourage you today to comment because I would love to hear um, if all other parents do this as well. I know I heard my mom used to do it 
and she would to keep my son from going up the stairs because she was afraid of him falling down the stairs and hurting himself even when he was you know just learning to walk and he would climb the stairs a lot she would say oh don't go don't go the boogeyman is up there and so we instilled those type of fear and he would stop and sometimes over time he would not go up the stairs because of it being said to him so many times and so yes that fear was instilled in him but if he was a child that was curious the or else child would he actually stop or go find out because he wants to see that boogeyman and so please comment and also like the video and share it with someone else so that way we can continue to be more mindful about the type of seeds that we're planting because they will grow they will grow and we might not it might not grow into what we think it's going to grow into and will it grow into obedience today I don't know. I would love to hear. So I welcome you to comment and I look forward to hearing from everyone. Take care.